Mini apple pies. I'm gonna show you how to style a classic American dessert, but in a mini bite-sized version. They're gonna look adorable and they're gonna taste so delicious. So the first step in making these mini apple pies is we're gonna roll out the dough. So I have some pre-made pie crust here and I'm just gonna roll it out to be a little bit thinner, about a fourth an inch thick. And again, you don't want this to be too thin. We're just making it a little bit less circular. Okay, perfect, that looks great. And then I'm gonna divide this up into six equal sections. I'm gonna cut it down the middle and then I'm gonna divide that. And this does not have to be perfect. And then from there, I'm gonna take each of these sections and I'm going to layer them into our muffin tin. So I just have a six count muffin tin here and I'm gonna press it into the sides, make sure it gets really good and pressed in there. And then I'm gonna take the overlap and just simply curl it in to my pie tin. And I like curling it inward because I feel like this makes the crust thicker on the outside, which makes the mini apple pies heartier and easier to hold. And just try and make it even all the way around if you can. So we have one and I'm gonna do the same thing with the remaining sections of the pie crust. So I'm just gonna press this last crust into the corners. The crust is good. Again, it can be rustic, it does not have to be perfect. Where our pies are gonna shine with our lattice on top. So once I have those all pressed into the pie crust, I'm actually gonna take a fork and just lightly prick the pastry on the bottom and on the sides so that it doesn't bubble up too much in the oven. I wanna create little pockets for the steam to escape so that we don't have big bubbles of pastry. I wanna keep them as uniform as we can. So just lightly prick the sides, you know, check on your crust, make sure you're still good on there. And then I'm gonna fly these out to a 375 degree oven and par bake them for about 10 minutes. All right, so I have the pie crust in the oven and now I'm gonna make our filling. And we're gonna start things off with some red and green apples. And you'll notice that I cut these apples into chunks. The reason why I did it this way and why I left the skin on is for color. So I want, when we look at those mini apple pies, to see the beautiful red and the beautiful crisp green of the apple skin coming through the lattice. I think that's gonna look so beautiful and appetizing and it's gonna make you know that, hey, there's apples inside of that little mini pie. And then I'm also gonna add several spices. So we have cinnamon, nutmeg, all of these warm spices are gonna really bring out the flavor of the apple. And also some ground cloves. I'm gonna add some sugar, and I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of flour. The flour is just gonna act as a thickener to bind it all together. And then I'm gonna add two hits of citrus. The citrus is gonna make the apples juicy and almost taste even sweeter. I have some orange juice. And then I'm gonna add the zest of a lemon. So you have the buttery crust, the richness of that taste. And then the lemon just kind of adds a little bit of a zing, a little bit of a brightness to the pies. It's really delicious. It's mostly zested. I'm gonna pour that into our bowl. And we're gonna stir this all together, get it nice and evenly mixed. Make sure you stir those spices throughout so they evenly coat the apples and every bite of your apple pie is gonna taste warm and bright and delicious. So this pie filling is a lot like a traditional American pie, but we're gonna add it into a mini version so I feel like you get more apple for your bite. All right, so our filling is done. We're ready to go with that, and then we're gonna take our pie crust out of the oven. We're gonna fill it with our apples, and then we're gonna add a lattice on the top. All right, so I have these par-baked pie crust. I'm just gonna add a little bit of our apple mixture to each one. And as I add these apples, I wanna make sure that I'm placing the apples skin side up in the pastry shells. That way when people bite into them, they see those pretty, pretty hints of red and green. We know that there's apple inside and it's gonna make a beautiful photo. Perfect, that looks beautiful. I love seeing the colors all come together. And if you can, try and smoosh the apples down a little bit into the pie so we can do the lattice over. Good, okay, so I have this pie crust that I've cut into about a half inch thick strips. And what we're gonna do, and be patient, because this is a little bit delicate, but it's gonna look incredible, is we're gonna layer our lattice two by two over this guy. And these are a little bit long, so I'm actually gonna cut them in half. So the key with lattice is you wanna go over, under. So I'm gonna start with this guy on top of this one on the left, like this and then go under that one, scoot them down. So this one, we're gonna do the same direction. And since this one was over on top, we're gonna go under and then over 
Look how cute that is. Perfect, that looks so good. And then I'm just gonna take my paring knife, we're gonna cut the edges. Beautiful, cute little lattice. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on the rest of the mini apple pies. So I have all of the latticing done, and now I'm gonna add a light egg wash to the tops to make them really golden brown and give them a little bit of a, a little special sheen on top. So this is just one whole egg that I have whisked lightly with about a tablespoon of water. So you can just use a brush from a craft store and just use it for cooking and just get a nice light wash on these. I love the way an egg wash makes baked goods look even more golden. These are gonna look so delicious and taste incredible. This looks amazing, great. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out, bake it at 375 for about 15 more minutes. Just watch and make sure the color gets nice and golden brown and you will be ready to let these cool and we're gonna style them up. So we have our scene all set up. We have our mini apple pies fresh out of the oven. They look warm and buttery and golden. They smell divine. I have them on a cooling rack just to tell the story of kind of like we've just taken them out of the oven. And also we set the scene with some beautiful colors of the green and the red and the apple in the background. And I wanna take these up one more notch though. These are gonna taste amazing anyway, but I want them to look super dramatic and delicious. So I'm gonna to top them with some vanilla ice cream and a pinch or two of cinnamon. And since these are warm, I want the ice cream to look slightly melty. So just a tip, make sure everything is all set up before you go to scoop your ice cream on your warm mini apple pies. You wanna make sure that's ready so that the camera can catch all the beautiful drips of the ice cream and that so you can eat it sooner because they're gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and top these with vanilla ice cream. And I'm using a, a smaller ice cream scoop than your normal because I don't wanna cover up the whole top of the pie. I want you to be able to see into the nooks and crannies of the ice cream. And the purpose of these is that you can eat them you know, in your hands. So I want my friends to be able to enjoy it with a little ice cream on top that won't drip down the side of their hands. All right, great. So we're just gonna get a nice little scoop here. And I'm gonna pop this ice cream on top. This is looking so good. I'm gonna help it down a little bit. Oh, so cute, I love that. All right, so I'm gonna put ice cream on the one in the back. I may look at the shot, decide if I wanna put ice cream on both, but I feel like this looks so delicious, we should do it again. So I'm gonna do one more scoop. So cute, look at that, I love it. It's so dainty and delicate and pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit of a pinch of cinnamon on top. Just hint at that cinnamon that's on the inside. It's gonna be a great color contrast to the ice cream. All right, so these look so cute. They look so delicate and delicious. I can't wait to serve these and I cannot wait to take a bite myself. I want to see your take on a mini apple pie. So tag at Pop Kitchen on Instagram so I can see your beautiful creations. And also comment below. I want to know what you want to see me style next.